As our world's population continues to grow, some cities have become incredibly crowded, with millions of people living in cramped conditions. This video will take you on a tour of the most densely populated places on Earth. From the towering skyscrapers of Hong Kong to the slums of Mumbai, we'll explore the challenges faced by these communities, from limited space to a lack of resources, and examine how they cope with the constant pressures of urban life. These are the most densely populated places on the planet. Kowloon Walled City Between the 1950s and 1994, Kowloon Walled City, located just north of Hong Kong Island, was the most densely populated place on Earth. It began as a Chinese military fort and later turned into an ungoverned and ungovernable city of squatters, with buildings on top of buildings. It was an enormous complex of 300 interconnected buildings across one city block. This area was essentially a lawless space sandwiched between Hong Kong, which was then under British rule, and China. Kowloon Walled City was infamous for organized crime and opium dens. Despite its small area, it was home to more than 33,000 people. Triad-run gambling dens were prevalent, and the city was feared by police and health inspectors who refused to enter. In Cantonese, it was known as the City of Darkness. Kowloon Walled City no longer exists as it was demolished when Hong Kong was returned to Chinese rule. You cannot step inside the most densely populated place on Earth, but frankly, you probably wouldn't have wanted to anyway. Manila These days, Manila in the Philippines is allegedly the most densely populated city in the world. However, as we shall see, there are many contenders for this unenviable title. Manila has an astonishing population of 21.3 million people, resulting in 42,000 inhabitants per square kilometer. It's firmly among the most populated and fastest growing cities in Southeast Asia. Manila holds immense historical significance as one of the original global cities, being part of the earliest commercial networks that connected Asia with the Spanish Americas through the Galleon trade. These trade routes played a crucial role in building the global world we know today, with Manila at the forefront of this development. Mumbai Mumbai is a city of immense importance in India. It serves as the commercial capital of this vast and ever-expanding nation, and it's also the most densely populated city in the country. The population of Mumbai has skyrocketed since the 1970s, leaping from 2.9 million in 1971 to 9.36 million in 2011. This massive increase has strained the aging infrastructure of the city, leading to the development of other nearby cities such as Navi Mumbai and Vasivara. These cities have become popular choices for those seeking to escape the overcrowded confines of Mumbai itself. With approximately 73,000 people per square mile, Mumbai is one of the most densely populated places on the planet. The high demand for land has made it quite expensive, forcing many people to live in poor conditions and extremely cramped, shabby homes. Additionally, residents often have to commute long distances, placing immense strain on the already overwhelmed public transportation system. The images of packed transportation are as much a part of daily life in Mumbai as the busy traffic-jammed streets. Mong Kok In Hong Kong, we find ourselves in an area known as Mong Kok. Mong Kok is the Cantonese term for a busy corner, but that term hardly does justice to the mind-boggling population density of this place. While I mentioned Manila as the most densely populated location on Earth, Mong Kok easily competes for that title. It's believed to have an astonishing 130,000 people per square kilometer. To put it in perspective, Sydney, Australia, with 8,000 people per square kilometer, holds that country's density record. In the United States, Washington, D.C. boasts around 11,000 people per square mile, but we'll encounter even higher figures in other U.S. cities shortly. These rankings fluctuate and measurements vary. However, this gives you an idea of the sheer chaos Mong Kok embodies. It's perpetually bustling. The streets are crammed with traffic and the sidewalks teem with people, like being caught in a swarm of bargain hunters during a Black Friday sale except this is an everyday scene. Mong Kok is plagued by constant light and noise pollution, and the never-ending construction adds to the mayhem. Despite all the inconveniences of sharing space with countless others, 
the rent prices here reach astronomical heights. The Rocinha Favela In large Brazilian cities, favelas are densely populated areas where the poorest segment of the population resides, forming bustling and often irregular communities. In Rio de Janeiro, the favelas are renowned for their vibrant yet occasionally perilous way of life. Rocina Favela is one of Rio's favelas and it happens to be the largest. This sprawling neighborhood extends across a steep hillside stretching away from the city center. Although favelas are generally associated with poverty and congestion, it doesn't mean they are all slums. In fact, Rocina Favela offers the amenities one would expect to find in any neighborhood – running water, electricity, schools, shops, and pharmacies. Life in the favela is ordinary in some ways, but extraordinary in others. These areas are vibrant hubs of creativity and local expression. The favelas boast a dizzying array of art, culinary culture, and a spirit that celebrates the resilience of its inhabitants. While they do have a reputation for being dangerous and can be more precarious than other parts of the city, some favelas are also among the most fascinating and authentic places in Rio. Malé Island The Republic of Maldives comprises a string of small coral islands totaling around 1,200 in number. These islands, known as atolls, are spread across 90,000 square kilometers of the Indian Ocean. One such island is Malé, and it is an incredibly bustling place. When we think of the Maldives, we often picture exclusive vacation destinations with beautiful sandy beaches, crystal-clear waters, lush landscapes, and luxury resorts. However, there are parts of this country that diverge from the idyllic scene. People live and work in the Maldives, too. It's not just a vacation spot for the locals. Malé Island has a population of over 200,000 people, all crowded onto an island with an area of approximately 8 square kilometers. In this densely populated place, there isn't much breathing room. The city practically covers the entire island and is home to about one-third of the Maldives' total population. Gutenberg, New Jersey while Washington, D.C. may be densely populated in some respects, it is the small town of Gutenberg in New Jersey that claims the title for the most crowded place in the United States. Gutenberg, a tiny rectangle of land in Hudson County, New Jersey, squeezes around 11,700 people into a space that amounts to about two-tenths of a square mile. What exactly is going on in this place to make it so popular and populous? It's even more densely packed than New York City. It turns out that a fifth of the town's population resides in one large apartment complex known as the Galaxy Towers, which overlooks the Hudson River. Since the construction of these towers, the population has significantly increased. If the area of Gutenberg were divided equally among its residents, each person would have the equivalent area of a small studio flat in the whole municipality. Dhaka, Bangladesh Next on our list is another contender for the most densely populated place in the world. We find ourselves in Dhaka, the bustling center of Bangladesh, which is home to an astounding number of people. Estimates suggest that there are approximately 47,000 people per square kilometer in Dhaka, making it quite cozy to say the least. This massive city plays a crucial role in the country's economy, accounting for more than a fifth of Bangladesh's gross domestic product. It houses nearly half of all the jobs in the country. Despite its significance, Dhaka is considered one of the top five least livable cities globally, hardly a glowing recommendation. The enormous overcrowding places immense strain on the city's infrastructure. Pollution levels soar, noise becomes insufferable, traffic congestion reaches unbearable levels, and unplanned housing sprouts out of sheer necessity. While people require shelter, this haphazard urbanization can pose dangers in terms of unsafe housing and inadequate infrastructure. With an average driving speed of 7 km per hour, getting anywhere fast is an impossibility. San Jose Tenuda Belgium may not be the largest, almost populous country on Earth, but it is home to a place where a significant number of people are squeezed into an unfeasibly small area. Welcome to saint josse ten nude a municipality in the Brussels capital region of Belgium. Its proximity to Brussels, the capital of Belgium, contributes to its high population density. While the average population density in Belgium is 377 inhabitants per square kilometer, 
Sancho Setenuda surpasses that by an astonishing amount. The population density in this municipality is 23,234 inhabitants per square kilometer. Many of the residents are immigrants who've come to Belgium to work in the capital. Although this may not sound thrilling, it is Belgium after all, and they do make excellent chocolate. Damascus Damascus, the capital city of Syria, is one of the world's most ancient and historically important places. However, in recent years, due to the Syrian civil war, the city has undergone significant changes. Damascus serves as the seat of the Syrian government and holds the title of the oldest continuously inhabited city in the world, dating back to around 6300 BC. Despite the challenges it has faced, Damascus remains a densely populated place. In 2019, the population was 2.7 million, and in 2022, it was named the least livable city out of 140 worldwide. The ongoing civil war has undoubtedly made it difficult for the people living there, but the city's rich history and cultural significance ensure its continued importance. Le Voyard Perret Welcome to the tiny city of Le Voyard Perret, located just four miles from Paris, France. In many respects, it's considered part of the expansive and sprawling Parisian metropolis. Despite its small size of about one square mile, this city is densely populated with approximately 68,458 people per square mile. It's believed to be the most densely populated place in all of Europe. Le Voyard Perret is known for being a holding place for Paris taxis when they're not working within the city limits. It's also famous for its perfume industry and beekeeping tradition. Although it may seem puzzling where they keep bees and park all those taxis or produce perfume with so many people, it remains a bustling and vibrant place. Karachi Karachi, the largest and most populated city in Pakistan, is a significant hub of activity. Approximately 16.8 million people call Karachi home, and the population has grown rapidly in recent decades. Unfortunately, this rapid growth has led to an expansion of poor quality housing, resulting in about 50% of the city's population living in slums. With a population density of about 24,000 people per square kilometer, or 63,000 people per square mile, Karachi is a densely populated city. While it's not the capital of Pakistan, that honor belongs to Islamabad, Karachi was once known as the City of Lights in the 1960s and 70s due to its vibrant nightlife. However, it has faced various challenges over the years, including political problems and high crime rates. Efforts have been made to improve the city's safety, and it has seen significant improvements in recent years. Kolkata Kolkata, formerly known as Calcutta, is a bustling city in West Bengal, India. With an estimated population of 4.6 million within the city and over 14.3 million when including the suburbs, Kolkata is the third most densely populated city in India. After gaining independence in 1947, Kolkata faced economic difficulties and political violence before settling down and regaining its significance. The city is known for its vibrant cultural scene, including the Eastern Indian film industry, as well as numerous culturally important places such as the National Library of India and the Academy of Fine Arts. Kolkata is also home to several scientific institutions. However, like many major metropolitan areas, it suffers from major pollution problems. The increasing population density has led to dangerously high levels of air pollution, with breathable suspended particulate matter causing health issues such as lung cancer. Kathmandu Kathmandu, the capital city of Nepal, is situated in South Asia and is the most populous city in the country. It's located in the Kathmandu Valley, which, despite its name, is situated at a high altitude of approximately 4,600 feet above sea level. Kathmandu holds the distinction of being one of the oldest continuously inhabited places on Earth, with its origins dating back to the 2nd century AD. Throughout its history, Kathmandu has been home to the royal family of Nepal, and numerous palaces and mansions still stand as testaments to its rich heritage. The city is not only the cultural and historical center of Nepal, but it also is its economic hub. As the largest metropolitan area in the Himalayan mountain range, Kathmandu plays a significant role in the nation's cultural life and economy. 
Despite rapid population growth with an annual increase of approximately 6.12%, the city has managed to expand into new areas to accommodate the growing population. As a result, the population density has remained relatively stable compared to other densely populated cities. Kibera Kibera is a slum district located in Nairobi, Kenya. It's considered the largest slum in Africa and one of the largest in the world. Although the slums of Nairobi occupy only about 6% of the city's land space, they are home to more than 60% of the city's population. This stark distribution of people highlights the challenges faced by the residents of Kibera. With approximately 250,000 people living in Kibera alone and a total slum population of about 2.5 million in Nairobi, the living conditions in Kibera are incredibly difficult. Each shack in Kibera is around 12 feet by 12 feet and often houses eight or more people, with some sleeping on the floor. Basic amenities like electricity and clean water are scarce, with only about 20% of the population having access to electricity. Until recently, water was collected from the Nairobi Dam despite its lack of cleanliness, leading to waterborne diseases like typhoid and cholera. Vijayawada Vijayawada is a bustling metropolis located in the state of Andhra Pradesh, India. It's known for its vibrant culture, educational institutions and other significant activities. The city is densely populated with an estimated average of 31,200 people per square kilometre. However, this is an average and population distribution may not be uniform throughout the city. Vijayawada is considered a global city of the future and plays a crucial role in the financial growth of the region and the nation as a whole. It attracts both tourists and residents due to its famous temples and its significance as a sacred place. The city is a hub for the Indian festival of Pushkaram, a river-worshipping ritual which draws numerous visitors. With its diverse offerings and popularity, Vijayawada remains a busy and thriving city. Baghdad Baghdad, the capital city of Iraq, is known for its substantial population, which reached around 8.5 million people in 2020. Despite its relatively small size, Baghdad has become one of the most densely populated cities in the Arab world, second only to Cairo. Its historical significance dates back to 762 AD, when it began to evolve into a city of great cultural and commercial importance, located on the Tigris River near the ruins of the ancient city of Babylon. Baghdad continues to hold importance as a major center of the Muslim world, with a diverse mix of peoples and religions. The city is home to Shia and Sunni Muslims, as well as Assyrians, Chaldeans, Armenians and various other ethnic groups residing in mixed neighborhoods. Baghdad also has a sizable Jewish community and serves as a pilgrimage site for many Sikhs. Despite the challenges posed by recent conflicts, the city retains its cultural and historical significance. Hong Kong Living in Hong Kong can be challenging due to its high population density. The city is known for its tightly packed communities and bustling streets. Despite having a low birth rate of only 0.774 per woman, the population continues to grow. Some areas of Hong Kong have more than 400,000 people per square kilometer, making it one of the most densely populated places in the world. However, it's important to note that only 25% of Hong Kong's total area of 1,068 square kilometers is built up. Despite the crowded urban spaces, Hong Kong offers a thriving financial center, excellent infrastructure and urban planning. The city is home to a large number of skyscrapers and its residents enjoy a high life expectancy. Hong Kong is also a hub for filmmaking and boasts a vibrant cultural scene. While there are drawbacks to living in such a densely populated place, the city's benefits include a well-developed public transportation system and a thriving economy. Rio de Janeiro Rio de Janeiro is renowned for its vibrant atmosphere and as one of the most densely populated cities on Earth. While its iconic beaches like Ipanema attract millions of visitors each year, the reality beyond the sand is different. The slums in Rio de Janeiro, known as favelas, house some of the city's poorest residents and are among the most densely populated areas on the planet. Despite the challenges faced by these communities, they have a rich culture and a strong sense of community. They've developed their own music, dance and cuisine, 
showcasing their resilience in the face of adversity. Rio de Janeiro's people contribute to its unique and special character, making it more than just a beautiful city. Zhao Zhao is a place that stands out as a potentially super densely populated area in the future. Currently, it doesn't have a particularly high population density with only about 2,000 people per square kilometer. Considering the comparison to Hong Kong, it appears relatively sparsely populated. With a total surface area of 7,434.4 square kilometers, there's room for the population to expand and potentially become densely packed in the future. Zhao has a long and interesting history as a significant stop on the Silk Road and a major port and transportation hub. It's known for its important temples, buildings and prestigious universities, making it a significant educational center. While it may not be densely populated now, its potential for growth and its historical and cultural significance make it an intriguing inclusion on this list. It's interesting to explore the different aspects and challenges of living in densely populated places. The experiences and characteristics of each location contribute to their uniqueness and appeal, despite the difficulties that come with high population density.